Alright, so I'm back again with Fine Blubber Die Trying. Cat was true to her word. Instead of having another date on the sixth day of the show, she planned a huge party for the staff instead. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, party. As soon as she told her staff that Violet would be cooking for the event, all of them dropped everything and helped prepare for it. While the staff prepared the party grounds during the day, each of us were hard at work, making sure other parts of it went well. Violet cooked mountains of food as if her life depended on it. In truth, it did. Yeah, they're right, because your life does depend on it. Yui was playing games with the staff outside. It didn't take long for her to become a fast favorite for them. I'm pretty sure half the staff were playing the games just so they could get her to notice them. And she knew it. I have to admit, I'm really impressed by Yui. Her plan is really coming together. Tara and Scarlet joined the forces to make sure all the staff joined the festivities. Tara used Cat's producer room to find any stragglers who hadn't joined the festivities. As Tara found them one by one, Scarlet turned on the charm and made sure that they came with her to the party. Then when it was time for Scarlet to switch to her other mission, Allie took over, though I'm told she employed more force than charm. So <laughs> basically we got the charmful one in the muscle. Then, I guess we had Tara or someone as the brains. Meanwhile, I ran around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to make sure every part of our plan was going smoothly. And for once, it did. A few hours later, we had every staff member on the island partying their lights out. Everybody here? You bet. You should have seen the ones that tried to run. I made sure everyone who came stayed too. Perfect. Everybody's eaten? As they should have. It is fine food. Yeah, I mean, she does make good food the way they talked her up so far. Looks like it's go all going according to plan. I'm just going to head and get to the fun part. Scarlet pulled out a remote from her pocket and pressed a button on it. A few seconds later, fireworks were shooting into the night above into the night sky above the party grounds. When I'm looking at that log real quick, I'm just going to... I'm just going to ahead and get to the fun part. I'm just, shouldn't it be? I'm just going to go ahead and get to the fun part. Anyway, type-ups happen. I do them all the time. The cheers of the staff were like thunder. And with that, the plan is going as smoothly as can be. Great job, team. We owe you one, Yui. Right back at you, Allie. We cheered as firework after firework lit up the night sky. I do love to watch fireworks. Uh, I do like the 4th of July because of that reason. And the food's pretty good too. Like when we cook out. Whoa. Are the fireworks supposed to be this bright? Come to think of it. These fireworks are practically blinding. I have to say. I did a pretty good job with these fireworks. Though there might be some side effects to watching them from so close. Hmm. Let's worry about that later. Yeah, you know, just losing your eyesight's no big deal. It's not like you needed to, you know, see. The fireworks were the signal that they were trying to escape, and there was nothing left to do except wait. It's going to be a long night. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just worrying over what may happen tomorrow. We might live, we might die, same as any other day. How about instead, we just dance the night away? You know what? That sounds great. That sounds lovely. Let's do it. Come on, let's dance like there's no tomorrow, because there might not be a tomorrow. <laughs> Yuck. Don't be like that, Tara. It'd be good for us to blow off some steam. Yeah, live a little. Dancing sounds like exercise, and exercise... Ugh, don't say that dirty word. Allie picked up Tara over her shoulder. And away we go. Come on, come on. Scarlet grabbed my hand and pulled me with her to where people were dancing. The others followed close behind. Oh, Scarlet's gonna be the one to dance with me? They sure are carefree, huh? Some things never change. Maybe we'll get out of here tomorrow. Maybe we won't. I hope we do, though. I like to think that one day, we'll look back and remember this day. It was the most fun night I've ever had, out of the nights that I can remember. Eh, I like the cooking ones more like the cookie dough fight. We lived like there was no tomorrow. And now, we'll find out if there is a tomorrow for us. Oh, I guess it's not going to tomorrow. We waited in the darkness for hours, waiting for the boat to come. The plan was simple. It had no room for error. First, we need to make sure the boat really is coming. 
It's later than usual. You think they're on to us? No, it'll just be a little longer. It's cold. There's no point worrying at this point. And I guess dresses and shorts like that will get cold. If they're on to us now, we're already dead. All we can do is wait. Yeah, all their outfits show some amount of skin, so I assume it'd get cold. Hmm. We waited for an hour more, then another, then another. We were losing hope. Hmm. I guess we're... We're what? It's here! Cat pointed towards the ocean. We all looked in unison. Just as she said, the boat was coming. It looked huge, despite how far it was. It must be massive from up close. Alright, it's only going to be a few minutes before it reaches the shore. Let's book it back to the mansion. Second, we need to get back to the mansion before the boat reaches the shore. From what Cat told us, the staff will physically inspect the mansion to make sure we're there. We can't rely on overriding the feeds. If we're not there, they'll sound the alarm, and our chance of escaping will go from slim to nil. According to Cat, it's how I got caught last time. Wait, how did we get caught last time? Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, yeah, the sound of the alarm. If we're not there, they sound the alarm, and that's how they got caught last time. We made it back to the mansion and rushed to our respective rooms. I turned off the light, then jumped into the bed and pretended to be asleep. A few moments later, I heard the sound of somebody opening a door. It must be them. There was a mechanical rhythm to it. Footsteps, a door would open, more footsteps, a short pause, footsteps again, a door would close, repeat. Over and over, closer and closer, till it got to my room. I tried my best to make my breathing sound natural. Hmm. Hmm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Footsteps. A second later, my door opens. I can tell there's probably about five people. Breathe in. But you didn't breathe out. Breathe in. They're walking closer to me. Uh, yeah. Breathe out. I can tell two of them are in front of me. They're muttering somewhere under their breath. You have to pity her. Come on, she could do better. Rude. Breathe in. Hey, something's wrong. It feels like my heart stopped. Breathe. Out. They're moving closer to me. Step by step. What's that? Breathe in. I think it takes everything I have not to move when every nerve in my body screams to run. Uh, this is it. They're on to me. I can't help but ball up the fist in my hand. I... Never mind. We're done for the night. Let's head out. Sounds good to me. I heard them walk further away from me and outside the room. Finally, they closed the door. I breathed out like never before. On to the next part of the plan. No more breathing in and out. We regrouped downstairs. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Like taking candy from a baby. Wait, where's Tara? I'll go check on her. As if on cue, Tara came running down the stairs. Who was going to check on her? Was that... that was Yui. I'm good, don't worry about it. She was just late. Fashionably late, and I definitely didn't fall asleep just now. Oh yeah, totally. I didn't buy it, and the rest of us didn't either. Alright, back to the problem at hand. We may have avoided detection for now, but now there's going to be upwards of a hundred guards on patrol between here and the boat. There's little to no chance we can all make it there without being seen, but it's a chance we'll have to take. Actually, we have just a thing for that. Courtesy of Scarlet and I. What's that? Well, we went through all the trouble of preparing such a big party for all the staff. It would be a shame if we didn't give them a little extra to chew on, no? Yeah, I guess. Uh... Wait a second. You did it. Oh, she did. What did she do? It was like an absurd scene from an art house movie gone mad. What did she do? I like the fountain picture at the sunlight. 
brains, bananas, brains and bananas. What's number four going to say? Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Anyway, goodbye for now.